Look who just came in for some attention. <laughs> Marcaroni. Yeah. Marcaroni. Marcaroni. There you go, ladies. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I hope you ain't out there settling for no scrubs. Okay, TLC told you that many, many, many years ago. Okay, so there you have it. Out of okay, this is what happens when you get a wonderful look. Love the camera. <laughs> Love the camera. <laughs> this is what happens when you get a great husband, a great man, a great provider, somebody that does not mind making his lady happy and smile. For the most part. Right? <laughs> For the most part. <laughs> For the most part. No. He's, he definitely, um, prefers me smiling. I, I will say that about my wonderful husband. What would you say, hon? Yeah. That's right. He definitely prefers me smiling. I do believe that. Um, if mommy ain't so, happy, ain't nobody happy. Now, see? <laughs> happy wife, happy life. <laughs> all the phrases. All the phrases true. Don't sleep. Guys out there, y'all know. Happy wife, happy life. Why, why are you mommy, speaking so far away? Mommy, if mommy happy, everybody happy. That's what he there says. Right. That's, That's what, what he says. Watch. Huh? You, okay, the kids haven't had lunch. I know, So you giving them an appetizer? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So my husband, as you guys should know, he does um, breakfast normally um, on Saturdays. But this morning, I guess he... I'm not sure why you didn't start earlier. He done closed the door. But um, he's doing it later now. So he's going to give them like a late lunch situation. I guess he just got into the flow of take, you know, being off and just, I don't know, but he did it much later today. And look at these flowers. They are absolutely gorgeous. My goodness. They are gorgeous. I don't know where he got these from, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that? Oh yes, you can. I know you can. So I even like the bag, how, they, how they've been wrapped. So Mark is definitely a proponent of giving me my flowers while I'm alive, which I really appreciate. I'm very, very grateful. And um, he came in not to, actually I was on the phone um, calling a dear, 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 dear friend of mine um, whose birthday is today. And I was leaving her a message because I guess she's so grown, she couldn't pick up the phone. <laughs> so happy birthday, black girl. And um, that's what I call her. <laughs> that's what I called her um, and still do when I feel like it. So um, we met in college and we've been friends, like real friends for many, many years now. Um, and I'm grateful and she's still here and I haven't talked to her in person, but I know she's having a great time. And I left her a message and she deserves to have a great time because she's been a great friend to me. So he called while I was wrapping up that message. And before I called to leave that message, I was in the middle of preparing, you know, a scripture for us. And some bread and some soul nourishment for our day. Today is Saturday, November 25th, 2017, okay? And I'm just gonna do a short scripture for us spirit scholars. And going to upload this and move forward in the day. But I do also wanna say that some exciting things are coming up for the channel, as you already know. Um, one of the things that I wanna start doing is a house cleaning segment, okay? Um, our environment in affects our spirit, okay? Our space 
affects our spirit. What is around us affects our spirit, okay? And so uh, it's very important that we maintain an environment that blesses us, okay? And so for each one of us, that's gonna be different. Uh, there's gonna be some people who are blessed by a completely minimalistic environment, like hardly anything around, I get that. And then there are people who are blessed by a maximalist um, environment, and I get that too. I get that too, and I think both of them have their place. Um, I saw a video with, I cannot think of the young lady, Khalees, and she's a maximalist. And I just thought it was so cool because you see minimalism, you know, that's the thing nowadays. And I'm more geared toward a minimalistic lifestyle. But, and I'm getting there, I'm not there, but I'm getting there. I'm constantly paring down and trying to make an effort and being intentional about, about paring down. But, um, I was very inspired by Khalees's maximalist um, apartment. If you look it up, it might, I saw it on YouTube, so you could look it up. And you, if you're a minimalist, you'll probably be like, ah, oh, no, that's too much. But I was actually inspired by it. I saw the artfulness, it reminded me of um, some very um, spectacular women that I grew up with that were more like my grandmother's age, but they had closets full of extravagance <laughs> and little knickknacks and things everywhere. And there's a certain comfort to that. You know, there's a certain sterility with the minimalist um, lifestyle. And then there's a certain uh, fullness <laughs> with the um, uh, maximalist lifestyle. But, so I wanna give honor to both. But um, no matter what, the spaces should be clean and they should bless our spirits, okay? So we're, I'm gonna, I wanna um, be talking a lot more about that um, probably this upcoming week. And I just wanted to give you just a heads up if that, with that, okay? And that's something for you to look forward to. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to bringing it to the forefront, all right? So here we go. Just a quote from Dr. Dyer as I move forward in, in finishing this book. And this one says, raise yourself to the level of energy where you are the light you seek, where you are the happiness you desire, where you are the love you feel is missing, where you are the unlimited abundance you crave. So you have to raise yourself to the level of energy where you are those things, okay? And that, you have to raise yourself. Raising yourself takes energy, okay, spirit scholars, which means that you're going to have to eat well, you're gonna to have to work out, you're gonna to have to create this type of spaces that bless you and help you raise your level of energy in order for you to be the light, the happiness, the love and the unlimited abundance you crave. You gotta raise yourself to the level of energy that you seek, okay? And you need to be making sure that your, your environment, you know what I mean, <clears throat> is in alignment with your internal being, okay? And the next quote is, your children, if you are a parent, are spiritual beings who come through you, not for you, okay? I am a mom of four at this time, and um, that I know is true. They come through you, they have not, he says they have not come for you. For you, they have not come for you. I think I know where he probably was going with that, but I'm gonna have to say that they do come for you as well. They come through you and for you. And I mean that from the sense of they are such a blessing to you and they are gifts for you from the Almighty. And you can learn, once you become a parent, if you are a type of parent who wants to be a good parent and strives to be a good parent and acts in good parenthood, um, you will be so amazed by what your children teach you. Okay, so in that sense, I definitely believe that they are for you as well. I think he's probably talking about maybe that the children aren't tools for you to use type thing. 
And um, I get that, I get that. But um, just from a general perspective, I do believe that your children are absolutely for you and they are to bless you and they and they do it if you just let them if you you know just see the god in them if you see the god in your children they you your socks will be blessed off <laughs> they will bless your socks off okay spirit scholars i'm already at 10 minutes and i don't have i didn't have the scripture um prepared for today so um I don't want this uh, to go long. I want to do a super, 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 super short. A super short scripture. And it's Psalm 25, 8 through 9. And it says, You are good and upright, O Lord. Therefore, you instruct sinners in your ways. You guide the humble in what is right. And teach the humble your way. Psalm 25, 8 through 9. You are good and upright, O Lord. Therefore, you instruct sinners in your ways. You guide the humble in what is right and teach the humble your way. Psalm 25, 8 and 9. All right. And in that, you need to ask the spirit to search your heart, reveal any areas of unconfessed sin, acknowledge these to the Lord and thank him for his forgiveness. Okay. Um, that's going to do it for today, spirit scholars. There's so much more that I say and do but I gotta leave you damn okay <laughs> I sometimes I think you guys are just tuning in to hear me sing I'm not kidding but uh, so with that said I want to remind you to subscribe because I appreciate you being a part of this tribe and I want you to know that you are loved because indeed you are and that I am coming at you with the joy that gives me strength. I actually have a lot to do um, today. So, which includes washing hair for the girls. I mean, the list truly goes on and on. So, um, I want to go. This is not as, you know, put together as it could be, but that's okay. Because sometimes you just got to make it do what it do. Okay. The other thing I was going to say is I am thinking about doing head wraps all winter, about covering all winter. Um, I cover a lot anyway, but not intentionally. Most of my covering is coming because um, I'm working out a lot or I'm doing Taekwondo or something like that. So I just always keep my head covered uh, because I'm active. But I'm thinking about covering intentionally um, for spiritual reasons. So I will be prayerful about that in the next however long it takes. And I'll let you know. But um, this, this doing my hair like this today kind of prompted what could become a reality of covering at least for the winter. So we'll see how it goes. And um, you'll know, cause you'll see me. <laughs> okay, Spirit Scholars. So again, know that you are loved because indeed you are. And know that I am coming at you so happily, so thankfully. Shout out to brother Mark Aroni again for these beautiful flowers that I have to go um, uh, put in some water. Um, know that I'm coming at you with the joy that gives me strength. Abundant love, beloveds. <laughs>